Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, today is all about what's in my medical school bag. So this is the bag that I use all throughout third year. But before I get started, I wanna introduce you guys to medicallicensing.com. Um, what they are is a medical licensing survey. So whenever you're done with medical school, nursing school, PA school, before you can officially start practicing, you have to become licensed in your state. And that process can be very long, difficult, and confusing. So what they do is they make the process very smooth for you. Essentially, they take all the guesswork out and they do the licensing on your behalf. So before you can practice, you need to get licensed. And this is kind of the bridge or the gap for you to get that process done for you. Um, so when that time comes, if you guys are interested in checking them out, I have a code for you guys, white coat 50, and that can save you $50 off your first order. I'm going to leave that in the description box. All right, so let's jump into the video. Um, this is the bag that I've been using um, throughout third year. I got this bag from um, DSW and um, it's pretty functional. I've um, haven't had any issues with it. It has several different compartments to put a lot of different items in here. Um, the only thing though, it is a, a one shoulder bag. So if you have a lot of heavy items that can be, um, can be kind of heavy on your shoulder. So that's the only thing about this kind of bag. All right, so starting with my first item, um, this would be my laptop. So. I didn't always bring my laptop with me throughout my rotation, it just depends on where my site was. So um, on inpatient during internal, I did always bring my laptop because you have to use the EMR, um, the electronic medical record to look up your patient chart and to write notes and there's not always computers available for students to do that. So laptop definitely came in handy. Um, also, there's a lot of downtime during third year. So if you have a few uh, minutes to kill or it could be hours to kill, um, you know, studying on your laptop, doing UWorld is really uh, an efficient use of your time. Um, if I was like in an outpatient clinic, let's say if I was on like family medicine, I would not bring my laptop. Generally, it was not needing, needed in that kind of situation. So typically when I was in the hospitals, when I carry my laptop with me. All right, next item is just a small notebook. Um, this can actually fit in my white coat pocket. This was good to just um, take patient notes. Again, if I was in clinic, in the hospital, um, I would just use this to write like my full HMP and it fits in my white coat pocket. Um, I got this for like 99 cents at Publix. Next item, which I love so much, is um, my white coat clipboard. Um, it's a clipboard, it opens up. These are all my patient progress notes. Again, this also goes in my white coat pocket. Um, so let's say every morning we round. Um, I keep up with the same patient, every day we write progress um, notes on them. Instead of writing those daily progress notes in this kind of notebook, I would just get a white sheet of paper um, and write it on this. And I would just use this during rounds. Um, and yeah, super convenient. On the back, it has some um, different items that you can look at. You know, look at some lab values and whatnot. So this also fits in white coat pocket. Next item is um, stethoscope. I actually do not like wearing this around my neck. It gets super heavy on your neck if you have it on all day. Um, I put it in my bag when I get to the hospital. I then put it in my white coat pocket. So stethoscope is probably the one thing I would need every single day. Next two items, this is needed for, um, this was needed a lot when I was on my neurology block during um, internal medicine. So this is the tuning fork, um, helps with uh, like hearing and vibration senses. Um, typically I just keep this in my bag, I'm not going to need this uh, um, like every day. This, um, the reflex hammer, sometimes I have this in my white coat pocket, just depending on what patient you may be um, seeing, you would need this. Some people may use like this part of their stethoscope if they don't, um, they can just use this if they don't have this available to check reflexes, but this is not as accurate. So it is good to have a reflex hammer on hand. All 
Um, next item is uh, this Maxwell Quick Medical Reference. This is definitely needed throughout third year. Um, definitely a good reference to get all your normal lab values when you're writing your progress notes. Um, it's just a good reference to go to. Also, it has different physical exam um, and history note taking um, tips that you can look at when you're doing your HMPs. So, this is very good to have and it can fit in the front pocket of your white coat as well next item is a water bottle you always need to stay hydrated um during my surgery rotation there was always a balance between being hydrated but not too hydrated you can end up going into the or and staying for four plus hours and you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you have to go scrub out and go to the bathroom but again you don't want to be dehydrated as well so um always keep a water bottle on hand so those were all the items in the um, main compartment of the bag and i'm gonna flip over and it has a back zipper so i keep some items in so let's see a lot of pens in here first thing is a pen light so this usually stays in the front pocket of um, my white coat i find it to be better than having to take my phone out and use the flashlight to look at um patients pupils so i got this on amazon it came i think with a pack of five so pen light Um, just have several um, alcohol swabs. Um, you know, you're going from patient room to room. You're using a stethoscope on different patients. Germs travel, so it's good to occasionally or frequently wipe your stethoscope down to just um, prevent the spreading of all those germs. Next is some hand lotion. Um, when you're in the hospital, every time you enter and exit, um, a patient's room you have to foam in and foam out just to, just another way to prevent all the spreading of germs and different you know bacteria so keeping lotion um keeping hand lotion on hand is good to prevent dry hands next thing is my um i'm our two, two badges i was at a few different sites throughout third year and so i just always kept them in my bag um, i rotated between the va the main hospital off-site hospital different clinics and so those provided different badges so instead of every time you know coming back home and then taking it off and possibly forgetting it i would just leave it in my bag And then the remaining are just um, some pens, which you're always going to need a lot of pens on handy. All right, and that's all for that bag zipper. Moving back into the main part of the bag inside the small zipper, um, I have Carmax, don't want dry lips, and I have some um, hand sanitizer. And then in the smaller compartments here, um, I have two set of headphones um one is for my laptop and then the other is for my um my iphone and then i just have my school um id badge on here once a week we do go to um, campus every thursday and we have like an evening class so need this to get into the building so those are all the items that were in my bag. Um, I know at the beginning of third year, you may be anxious to get all these different supplies, get all these different resources, get all these different things that you need for the year. I think for me, the main things to start off with that are really important and that are very useful would be the um, the Maxwell Reference Guide. This is very useful for taking your history and your physical and getting different lab values and then the white coat clipboard. Um, there's a lot of different things out there, or different notebooks that you can use to write your um, your patient notes. For me, I didn't like any of those. I like plain white paper. I like notebook paper for quick notes. Um, but yeah, I found these two things to be very useful throughout third year. All right, so that is it guys. That is what is in my medical bag. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, cannot believe third year is over. I'll be starting fourth year. Um, very soon i have a little break coming up and then i start back rotations in july um but in the meantime just comment below and let me guys uh let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future i'll see you next time bye